Okay, I'm going to put two problems up. All right, two problems up, hit pause, work through them, and then we'll work through the answers. I'm going to hit pause. That was Dallas, in case you guys didn't hear him. You do, people who are listening at home, maybe Dallas's parents. That's your son questioning Mr. Renault in class. That's, that's being recorded. All right, here we go. Um, first ones, I want, you to, I want you to solve and graph on a number line. Okay, solve and graph on a number line. Okay, so let's go with um, okay, number one, fourteen minus x is greater than or equal to two. And number two, negative two-fifths x is greater than four. Okay, question number one. First step. Uh, Spencer, first step. Subtract 14. Subtract 14. Okay. So I have negative x greater than or equal to negative 12. I have a problem. What is my problem, Lily? I, I have a negative variable, so I need to multiply both sides by negative 1, which gives me x. And then what do I do? Flip the inequality, and negative 12 times negative 1 is positive 12. On your number lines tomorrow, they will have the number lines for you. You will have to number them. So I would put, again, 12 right in the middle. Go two each way. Okay. Um, Katie, what's above the 12? Close circle. Olivia, arrow to the left. Okay, just like that. How many got that one? How many forgot to flip the sign? Okay, be careful to flip the sign tomorrow. All right, number two. Addy, first step, number two. You multiply both sides by negative five over two. Perfect. Multiply both sides by the reciprocal. She said negative five over two. Could be five over negative two. Doesn't matter. Just as long as the negative sign goes with it. Okay. Twos cancel. Fives cancel. Negatives cancel. That gives me x. And what did I multiply both sides by? A negative. So what do I have to do with that sign? Flip it again. How do I take negative 5 over 2 times 4? 4 over 1. And what can the 2 and the 4 do? Simplify, reduce, cancel, however you say it is fine. 2 goes into the 4 how many times? Twice. And so what's that give me as an answer? Negative 10. All right, so again, I put my negative 10 in the middle. Be careful here because we're on the negative side. Cameron Goff, what above the negative 10? Open circle. And anybody with an arrow to the... Left. Okay. Okay. Question three and four. These are just solve only. Don't need to graph them. Just need an answer. One half x minus eight greater than or equal to four. And then number four, negative two parentheses x plus four greater than or equal to sixteen. Again, just solve only. No number lines on these. <laughs> okay. Number three. Um, Hayden Spillers. First step. Add 8 to both sides. So that gives us 1 half x greater than or equal to 12. Um, Ryan, what do I do with that 1 half? You uh, multiply the reciprocal. 
Okay, so what's the reciprocal of 1 half? 2 over 1. 2 over 1. I'm just going to leave it as 2 because that's going to make it easier on that side. That cancels. Gives me x is greater than or equal to 24. Okay, how many had that answer? Good. I like a lot of hands up. That's good. Okay. Um, let's see. Brennan, first step on number four. Distributive property. I like the math terms. Okay. Starting to click for some of us. We're saying math terms in our dreams. We find ourselves chasing some crazy dragon with our big sword. And we're like, whoa, I should stop and do distributive property right now. I don't know. Okay, so Brendan, keep going. Okay. Minus 8. Greater than or equal to 16. Kenzie, next step. Ooh, add 8 to both sides. There we go. Negative 2x. Greater than or equal to 24. And Sammy, finish this off. Try again. Negative 2. And because I divide by a negative, Sammy, what happens? Flip the sign. X is less than or equal to negative 12. How many got that one? Good. How many forgot to flip the sign? Okay. Got to get those tomorrow. My last step guy, and he didn't flip the sign. What? Okay. Um, number five. Just going to have one of these. Okay, so this will be a one one problem page. Um, what are the directions on? Solve. <coughs> okay. Just want you to solve. This is one of those we kind of struggled a little bit. But there is one there tomorrow, so I want to make sure we've got this before we go into it. Negative 6, if I'm reading it from left to right, negative 6 is less than or equal to x plus 4, which is less than 14. So ask yourself this question. Don't answer it out loud. How many answers will I have on a problem like this? Does anybody remember what the title of this lesson was? <coughs> Compound inequalities. So when I have compound words, there are two of them. So you will have two answers on this one. Okay, so I need to divide this into two different equations. So my first one, and I'm just going to have it letter A and letter B. My first one is going to be negative 6 less than or equal to x plus 4. Then my second one is going to be x plus 4 is less than 14. Now, for visually appealing math, what do I need to do with letter A, Hayden? Okay, be very careful here, because I'm going to put x plus 4 first, is greater than or equal to negative 6. I didn't change the sign because I did anything with the negative number. I changed the sign because I flipped the order. Okay. Notice that right here, your inequality sign is open to the x. Down here, it is still open to the x. All right, so keep that in mind. Um, real quick, one step. How do we solve this? Anybody? Subtract 4 from both sides. Okay, don't get killed on the negative number thing. What's negative 6 minus 4? Negative 10. Okay. Now... Pretty simple. Letter B is already in order for us. So we just do what to both sides? Subtract 4. So X is less than 10. All right. Now, it's pinched in together. So there are two ways you can write this answer. Okay. You can write it. X is greater than or equal to negative 10. And... 
x is less than 10. Okay. Or you could pinch it together, put your x in the middle, x is greater than or equal to negative 10, and it's less than positive 10. Either one of those is fine. Most of you will choose the first one, okay, because it's a little simpler. Is that a word? Okay, more simple. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, so now, now we go into absolute value. So if I give you, um, and I'm going to go right at you. Uh, okay, Shh. absolute value of x minus 8 over 4 is greater than or equal to 10. Okay, first equation, um, 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 Courtney, that's my first equation. Okay. Okay. All right. Anybody? First step. Josh. Multiply each side by four. So that gives me x minus eight greater than or equal to forty. Final step. Anyone? Add eight to both sides. So x is greater than or equal to 48. How many got that? Good. I like that. Lots of hands. Okay. Um, Noah, second equation. Uh huh. Perfect. Okay. X minus 8 over 4. He flipped the inequality sign to less than or equal to. He changed the sign of his 10 to negative. All right, now we do the same steps. Multiply both sides by 4. So that gives us x minus 8 less than or equal to negative 40. Again, I multiplied by 4. I did not multiply by negative 4, so I don't switch my sign. Add 8 to both sides. And I end up with x is less than or equal to negative 32. Yay. How many had that one? Okay. Good. Okay, question number 7. Negative 4x plus 2y is greater than 14. What's the first thing you notice when you see this equation? It's in standard, it's in standard form. Okay, so your first job is to put it in slope-intercept form. Okay, so do that first and then graph it. Okay, first step. Anybody? Anyone? Just say it. Add 4x to both sides. Okay, so that gives me 2y greater than... Remember, I want to put it in order. I want to put the x's first. What's the sign of the 4x? Positive. So I'm just going to write 4x. You could put plus 4x if you want to, but we'll just simplify it a little bit. And the sign of the 14? Also positive. Okay. One more step. What's the final step? Chris? Divide by 2. Now remember, you have to divide the entire thing by 2. I got a lot of questions yesterday. Why do I have to divide the whole thing? Why don't I just divide the slope by two? How many of you have, have a remote control car or a or little brother says, everybody's seen a remote control car, right? Yeah. You know they're done to scale. On the box, it'll say 1 16th scale, 1 10th scale, 1 24th. What they've done is they've taken every piece of that car. Let's say it's a 1 16th scale. They've taken every piece of that car that's normal size and they've divided it by 16. How crazy would it look if they took the body and divided it by 16 and they took the tires and divided it by 16, but then they left the engine the same size? It would look, really It'd look ridiculous. It would crush the tires, it would crush the body, and it wouldn't work. You have to take everything to scale. 
All right. So what's 4x divided by 2? It's electric. Everything has to be to scale. What's 4x divided by 2? 2x. And 14 divided by 2 is positive 7. So I now have two pieces of information. I need to identify them. If you didn't identify them, please do so at this time. You need to tell me what the slope is. You need to tell me what the y-intercept is. And when I mean tell me, I need you to write it. I don't need you looking over in the middle of the test tomorrow and telling me what the slope and y-intercept are. Okay. Just Please just write them. All right. So, Ashley, what's the slope? Two. Okay. So we're going to write it as 2 over 1. That's going to help us in just a minute. And y-intercept, anybody? Seven. 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 Wait till you get to this point before you label your graph. Okay? Know where it has to be. Know how big it has to be. If you don't like the piece of graph that they give you on the test, you don't think it's big enough, use your own graph paper. You're more than welcome to do that, to make it your own. So my y-intercept is 7. So my y-axis... I go up to 7, and my slope is 2 over 1, so that means I do what, Dallas? Uh, rise 2 over 1. Okay, I rise 2, two and 1 to the, right. to the right. Perfect. 1, 2, 1. Now, I've run out of graph. Okay? If this happens, again, we just go down 2 and to the left 1, okay? and it gets the, the same thing accomplished. Okay? What kind of line? Dashed. Dashed. Okay. Okay, there's my line. Am I done? Nope. No. Now I need to do my what test? Shade. Shade it. Okay. So I want to go, since it doesn't cover zero, zero, I want to put a point on zero, zero. Yep, I absolutely want you to put a point. Okay? And then I want you to substitute it back. Remember, you can substitute it in here or you can substitute it into the second one. Doesn't matter. I'm going to go to the original equation just because that's my preference and that's the habit that I have created over the years. And I'm going to take negative 4x plus 2y is greater than 14. And everywhere I see an x, I'm going to replace it with what? A 0. And everywhere I see a y, I'm going to replace it with a 0. So what's 0 plus 0? Zero? 0. Is 0 greater than 14? No. So I do not want to include him. Okay? So I shade away from him. Okay. If it's true, shade to cover your zero, zero. If it's false, shade away from your zero, zero. Okay. Yesterday in some other classes, we started calling this the zero or hero method. All right. He either gets to go to the dance or he doesn't get to go to the dance. If it's true, he gets invited. Let's take him. If it's false, he gets to stay home and play video games. All right, he didn't get invited to the birthday party, so. All right, so that covers everything. Everything gets covered in seven questions. All right, absolute value, adding, subtracting, multi-step, compound, absolute value, and graphing. Okay.